Hello and welcome back to Advanced Rocketry. Today we are actually going to the moon. We are building the rocket. So I'll go through everything you need to, to build the rocket and to launch it. Um, and basically we're going to the moon and we are going back as well. So, all right, everything starts with, uh, well, there prerequisites. I think you have seen all the other stuff already so you know what you can build and how to build stuff. So now we can get into the more <laughs> the more fun stuff so to say. First of all you need concrete. Gravel, sand, water, concrete. Use this concrete to make the launch pad. Uh, the launch pad is the the base for the to, to launch the rocket. We, the rocket needs something to stand upon and uh, it can be of various sizes. Uh, I think the smallest one is like three times three and the largest one can be quite large. I think e even bigger than this. They also need a tower next to it and that tower is called structure tower. With some steel rods you get this and uh, you get quite a few and you have to build it from one uh, one block on the side of the launch pad. You can't have it above because uh, I think it will when, when it's interacting with the rocket it's, uh, it's starting from the base. So one block to the side down here and it should be well, at least the same height, but I, I prefer to have it one, one block taller. And after that, we have uh, it's time to craft the rocket. So this uh, liquid fuel tanks, we crafted it before in the previous video. Just some steel. And um, let's see, we don't need that. Then we can enter this part. So there are a few blocks that you need to... Uh, to both build and uh, fuel the rocket. So the first things you need is the engines. If we can, if we begin with the uh, with the rocket itself. So you can be quite creative with uh, how you how you build the rocket. It doesn't have to look like this. So if I destroy it a bit, you can take a look inside. So for this one, I'm using four engines. The engine is some titanium and steel. And there's another version called the advanced rocket engine with the titanium alumide and iridium alloys. So much more expensive, but I think it was, oh, I forgot. If the normal engine is 10, gives 10 thrust, I think the advanced gives like 50. So it's quite a bit more powerful. Uh, and then you need some fuel tanks. Personal or personal. I, I did like this. Engines and fuel tanks. And uh, you have this uh, rocket assembling machine to help you with uh, with how many you need. So don't you don't need to learn it before building. You can you can do it. But I can Perhaps recommend doing it in a creative world first, just so you know exactly or roughly how, how big your, your rocket's gonna be and how many of each you need. After that, there's basically two more things that you need. You need something called a guidance computer. Tracking circuits, structures, these are made in the precision assembler, so we have seen this before. And you need one guidance computer in it. And I placed mine here in the middle. It doesn't need to be there. It has one slot inventory. You can access it now or later. It doesn't matter. And after that, you actually need a seat, something to sit on. With some wool, you'll get that. And the, the chest I have here, it's totally optional. You can access it and bring stuff, or you can just simply skip it. It's uh, it's optional. It, you will have more use for this later when we go through the 
uh, mining mission missions. Uh, but anyway, and I put some glass up here so I have a good view and so I can stay inside when I reach the moon. And probably you need somewhere to sit. So it's empty in the middle. Um, and that's all we need. So now you need a block called, well, you have the planet ID ship. Let's get back to that in a while. But I forgot one thing. Here, the rocket assembling machine. So this is a bit more advanced to craft, titanium gear, it's a bit more expensive. And the gears is yes, a lot of titanium, so you, you need some stuff. But when you have it, you place it next to the launch pad, like you've done here. Uh, perhaps you can have it one block below or to the side and, and stuff like that, but it needs to be quite attached to the launch pad. And you need power. Here I'm just using creative power and this is how it looks. So let's say that we built the rocket and we are happy with it. We have power, then we can click scan. Now the rocket assembling machine will, will scan this build. Everything on top of the launch pad and at this height will be scanned and we get the result here. Thrust, 40 newtons. Uh, because I have four engines. We have uh, our weight and we have fuel and we have the fuel consumption. We have acceleration. It, go, it depends on uh, your how many engines you have. And everything looks green. Clear for liftoff. Perfect. Then let's craft it. So you have the bar here. You have this, this building, building beams. And with that, we actually have build complete. The rocket is done and uh, we're almost good to go. We only need one thing and that's fuel. So let's take a look here. You need something called a fueling station. So templates, structures, nothing, uh, nothing really strange here. And we also need something called a linker. And this linker, and let's say we place the fueling station here next to the uh, to the launch pad. It doesn't need to be exactly here. You can have it a bit to the side, but we use the linker and shift right click on the uh, the fueling station, and then I can either attach it or I can link it to a specific rocket. Uh, but for me, it uh, perhaps I. If it's more more logical, like I've done it here, then I can link it to the rocket assembling machine, and that will link the fueling station to whatever rocket is on the uh, launch pad. If you link it like this, it's only linked to the rocket. So if an, if I place another rocket here, it will not be fueled. So, but I prefer doing this. So now when I take a look in the fueling station, we can actually see, well, I, it was already linked before I crafted it. It was perhaps stupid, but if we shift right click on the rocket, we can actually see the fuel status here. And if I right click on the rocket, you can see the, uh, the fuel on the left side, velocity, altitude, but now we're on the ground, but at least we have lots of fuel. And you can pump your your fuel in here. Uh, I'm just sheeting a lot of fuel in here, but rocket fuel, and it needs power, and now the rocket has fuel. So we're almost good to go. Uh, you can actually do some automation here. You can uh, uh, you can set the fueling station to emit a redstone signal when. Um, I think it's when the rocket is fueled and ready, it will emit a redstone signal and that can be used to automatically launch uh, a rocket. 
but I'm not doing that. I'm just doing it manually right now. Uh, so we can actually go back to this one that we skipped before, the planet ID ship. Crafted with some other ships, uh, basic circuits, cutting machine, nothing uh, you haven't already seen in the previous video. And that will give you something called a planet ID ship, and it will be unprogrammed, like the one I have here. Now if I shift right click the rocket, and we click on the guidance computer, oh, here is where you access the chest. I click the guidance computer and I place my unprogrammed ship in here. That means that we can, we can place the ship, uh, the, the rocket will use the information on the ship to uh, decide where to go. Now if I shift right click again, I can press this button called the select destination. The other button called disassemble will do exactly that. It will just de... well, now it's an entity, but it will be de entinized or something, uh, and go back to normal blocks as well, or like it was before we built it. But uh, don't do that on a moon unless you have the rocket assembling machine with you, because it will be very hard to get back. So shift right click, select destination, and now we can take a look around Earth. Uh, let's see, up here is the Luna. This is our moon. I click it and I can select it. We can also use the planet list. Let's see, didn't I get it? Yeah, here, Luna, Earth. It's everything I have in my, uh, it's everything I've discovered so far. So. Luna, select. So now if we take a look here, we can go in here. You can see that the plant ID ship is uh, programmed to Luna. And then I think we are ready to go. Uh, bring your rocket fuel with you. It's so much easier to get back if you have fuel. For me, it's easy. So now I can just right click you can see it says press space and to the left we have fuel, velocity and altitude. So let's go. And now we have arrived to the moon. So press space to descend. Now we are going down and we have been here before. I, we were here in the last video where we talked about the spacesuit, but I already have it on me. And right now I'm creative, so I don't need it, but, but you will need it. And now we are here. So let me get back in this mode. Jumping is different. Uh, running is not different, but it's quite flat. So you can uh, at least uh, explore uh, and get lost. Uh, now if we shift right click the rocket, you can see the fuel has gone down. So I don't think I have enough to get home again. Luckily, let's see. If you remove that and I right click, yep, now it's full again. In the normal survival, it will be emptied and end up here. I think you, I demonstrated that in the last video. But to get back, well, let's say we're done here. We have done whatever we came here to do. Might be a good idea to bring a rocket assembling machine in case in case needed, but uh, if if you disassemble by mistake, but we need to get back. We need to go into the guidance computer, no, sorry, in the select destination, and click Earth again, and select it. Now, if we go into the guidance computer, we can see that the planet name is Earth. So there's where we that's where we're going if we launch again. 
the entire trip takes, I don't know, I, will, I cut it for you, but it's like two or three minutes to get up here. And now you're on the moon, so you can do whatever you want. Perhaps build a space station up here, or uh, prepare for other missions. Well, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, in the next one, we'll go through satellites, I think, to gather information and, uh, and perhaps also prepare for the observatory and, uh, and mining missions. But we'll see how much we can do in one episode. I hope I'll see you then. Take care and bye-bye.